I'm standing up top of a car. I don't know why, but I really don't care. It feels good to stand on top of a car. Everybody go home and try it. You might learn a thing or two. One of them, do not stand on top of a car. You might dent it. I mean, I know my big self. I'll, I'll probably dip the car. Hey, who cares? It's all for looks. All for show. Now give me a bow tie. Sounds like your assessment of Remy Duval was spot on. Listen to this. Look at what he's doing to us. Our neighborhood, our homes. Half of one refused to sit by and watch as some rubber-lipped nigger runs roughshod over everything we hold dear. And what is it you hope to accomplish? I will strangle that motherfucker! That's what I'll accomplish! Apologize. Shouldn't use that kind of language. He is egging you on, Rim. You are much too important to be caught up in all of this. Is the situation unfortunate? Of course it is. But nothing he is doing changes anything. Let Sal's men handle it. Sal's men? Olivia, the people of this neighborhood expect me to protect them, not some greased up wop assholes. No, no, no. I need to respond to this. He need to send a message to those niggas and the guineas that here in Frisco Fields, we take care of our own. This is a mistake, Remy. You could jeopardize everything we have been working toward. Our very way of life is at stake, and you think I give a goddamn about some casino? Sometimes I think you've forgotten your station in life, Olivia. A minute or so later, Olivia called Sal. Told him Remy's Southern Union pals were out looking for you. If you head back up there, I'm sure it won't be long before you run into some of them. Get them to tell you which hole Remy's hiding in. Yeah, once I'm done with that prick, Olivia's next. Getting to someone like her ain't gonna be easy. Between Marcano's men and all those rich white assholes she runs around with, they'll spot me coming a mile away. I need you to look at our options. Come up with a plan. Okay. I'm gonna look at our options and come up with a plan. What's wrong with you, man? Personal hygiene is very important. <laughs> I gotta agree with him. Hygiene's very important. Always take a shower. Brush your teeth after every meal. Always wipe before washing your hands. If you gotta go really far, use hand sanitizer after you wash your hands. I remember, no, I didn't remember. I should have remembered when I was in school, always carrying hand sanitizer with myself. What well, it came in handy, probably got rid of, I don't know, germs, stuff that's bad for you. Probably would have gotten less sick. But I'm sick like every time. Like every day I feel like shit. I feel sick. It's like give me a break. And I got over a cold. Well granted I haven't taken the flu shot in like. Over a decade. I think the last time I took. Whoops sorry. I think the last time I took a flu shot was probably. In like third grade. My dad took me. To somewhere way out of the way in the boonies or some shit so I could get me a flu shot. That was what, third grade? Man, no, it wasn't third. Was it, it was either third grade or intermediate school, which is fifth and sixth grade. I, I mean, either way, it was like 10 years ago. Hey, this is the guy I need. Come 
Come on, guys. I really don't have that much med kits left. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Asshole shot up my truck. My car. Same damn thing. Kill this asshole. Come here, buddy. Duval, where is he? <laughs> Go on, man. He's putting together a hunting party with the Union boys. <laughs> For your ass. Up near the old lookout point. Tonight. Guess they'll have to start without you. I'm in Frisco. Can use some supplies. Going at you. Hang tight. All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Let me see what you got. Done deal. I'm out of here. <laughs> Christ, how far away is this place? Well, I guess you gotta hold a rally in a secluded area. Uh oh. In a park? This is about to be good. Is it about to rain? Ho! Oh. Alright, we're gonna stealth it. Y'all don't mind me. Just your everyday neck of the woods person. But to put the cap on some bitches right now. Fancy white robes. My daddy used to say the only thing worse than a nigga is a rich white man putting on airs. Ain't that the goddamn truth? Those assholes come on out for Mr. Duvall's speech. <laughs> Might even hoot and holler and wave their arms around, but me and you both know when it's time for over there. Us. Shoot him for fuck. Lift ourselves some niggas. Yeah. All right. Whew. Wipe the sweat off. Oh goodness. We stand here in the ruins of the last century. It was right in this spot where my great 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 grandfather joined his brothers in the defense of Louisiana against northern aggression. Now he died in this spot to protect the virtues and the values of his people. Gave his life to uphold the liberty of his state. And to hold back the ascension of the mongrel tide. I heard it's from mongrel that type. type. Man. One of their numbers is out. That hurts. Right that hurts. Slit in the throats of white men and women. Right now. Huh? I know what some of y'all are thinking. Fuck this city, Remy. Fuck the Why did he just come over here? I mean, he's coming over here. We lost one. All right, I tried to go stealthy, but guess what? It didn't work. I don't mean to kill everybody else, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Casualties of war. They all look the same to me. I see one in real life. I don't know what I do. Sorry. <laughs> oh, 
What now, nigga? What now? Have it your way. A horrific scene here in Frisco Fields is one of the city's most prominent citizens, Remy Duval, was savagely murdered. Witnesses report he was bound to a cross and set on fire. Let's see if we can get a statement from the police. Chief Wilson, you care to make a comment? It's those goddamn niggles. Every last one of them needs to be rounded up and shot. That's quite a statement, Chief. You need to wipe the shit out of your eyes, son. Take a look around. There's a goddamn war going on! Okay, and we're back. I thought we were about to go to the sit-down. I was about to end the video. I'm like, what's going on? We're only 16 minutes in. All right, let's go to Olivia's wake. Which is, you know, awake. You do stuff. All right. Close to our destination. Oh, the darn roadmap turned around. That was weird. Hey, homeboy creeping. Olivia's what at up? the country club. Get in. I'll run you through the plan. 